Obviously, one thing that we have to talk about today that will be in The Observer this week is that they did announce their television show coming up on June 17th, which is Collision. And uh, that was the only announcement they made today. There was not even a mention of Chicago. There was no mention of CM Punk. On the show, Tony Khan said that next week we will tell you the location of the debut show. So what's going on? Well, I mean, there's a lot going on. Um, so this is the basic gist of it. Is um, Punk was supposed to be announced um, at the show? Um, you know that he was going to. That was the big announcement. Was going to be CM Punk at the upfronts, the star of the show. He was in the graphic. He was the lead in the press release. And then yesterday, uh, WBD was told to remove CM Punk from everything. And they removed him from almost everything. They forgot one link. To, and um, the link, of course, was, you know, a story where uh, it was basically saying, you know, collision starts. And, of course, the first name mentioned was going to be the star of the show, CM Punk. So they forgot to uh, eliminate his name in the link. So a few people actually in the, in the real media saw that. And oh my God, you know. But of course, you know, we had we had actually, you know, there were there were people who had been told yesterday um, at WBD scrub them from the thing. So um, you know what that meant. Um, you know, it's there was all kinds of speculation. What does this mean? You know, why did they pull it at the last minute? And um, there was a, you know, there was a situation that happened, and. Um, I would say that the the Mike Johnson story in PW Insider is is pretty close, and I mean I really can't say more because the reality is is that um, you know I mean Tony's never going to talk about anything. At well, he should point. at least tell us what did Mike Johnson say. I'll tell you what Mike. So Mike Johnson's basic thing was that um, there was a disagreement over a steal, and. There, that probably is something to do with it. That uh, you know, Punk basically demanded a steal back, and um, you know the the gist was that. I, and again, I I have been told certain things about a steal and uh, many different contradictory things, and I don't want to say anything that's wrong um, about it. But I had been told he wouldn't be that 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 was not true, and I had been told that it's absolutely true. Um, but in the end, you know, the, the story was that, um, they would, they were likely, um, it, it, basically punk wanted a steal around and, um, Tony did not want a steal. And this was one of the stories that I'd heard during the last week or so when it regarded this with a steal was that he may be hired. He may already have been hired. Um, you know, I've had, and again, um, people denied that to me as well, but um, and mo nobody knew, you know, except for Tony and one or two people and Ace and Punk about this. It's not like any of the other people knew that knew anything about it. I and I got it because of certain people who I know um, that were that are on a certain side that never talks to me except they do. And um, anyway, the, the 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 basic gist of it was that. Um, you know, he, Tony did did not want Ace at the buildings. Punk thought and Ace thought that um, he was going to be at every collision show with Punk, you know, and he was told that no, you know, he's not, he can, he can work here supposedly, but whatever it was, he was not going to be at the buildings. He was not going, you know, and that was the blow up. Um, and they are this, 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 there were people who thought that this was the ultimate blow up and, you know, Punk screwed Tony on Tony's big announcement and Tony's big day and to WBD and all that from the WBD side, because nobody from the AEW side has talked about this at all, nor confirmed any of this from the WBD side. They have said that um, that their belief is that there will be an attempt to work it out. And, um, you know, they're hopeful 
that they work it out, that it's not a dead deal. But this is the situation. Hence waiting one week to announce Chicago. I think that, um, I don't know what they do. You know, the United Center's book, that's the city. But if there's no punk, you know, do you do you go to a different arena? Uh, do you go to the United Center with no punk? Because if you go to the United Center, everyone is going to assume, whether they announce him or not, that he's going to be there. And they're going to be really upset when he's not. And they don't want to say he's not because they don't want to mention his name if he's not there. So it's a question of like, again, what are, you know, and I don't know. You know, I mean, Tony's in a really tough position. And Punk has leverage here, you know, for the obvious reasons. And how it's going to turn out, you know, we'll find out. I mean, um, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's, you know, I mean, it was so funny when I, uh, you know, I mean, it, it, none of this surprises people. I mean, it's, it's we, you know, it's been, this has been the gist of it for a long, long time, and it will continue to be like this. But here's the thing, you know, and I, again, when I woke up and I saw the graphic, you know, and I saw the press release, and I'm reading it, and there's no punk's name, and those names are, you know, What's 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 you know what's the thing? Well, we got a poster here with MJF and Orange Cassidy, who are champions. Samoa Joe, who's the uh, champion. We've got Thunder Rosa. Th- th- okay, go. Ahead. We'll just go through the names and we'll talk about the names. Okay, Thunder second. Rosa, Andrade is there. FTR is there. House of Black is there. Miro. Miro. Miro yeah. is there. So. Well, 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 House of Black, of course, your trios champions. Will Hobbs. Um, Will Hobbs, yeah, he's going to be one of the. He was supposed to be one of the stars of the show, and he's a, uh, he he likes punk, so you know he he would he was going to be one of the guys like FTR who were going to be along with punk the, the big stars of the show, and Joe was going to be the first opponent for punk originally, so he was going to be on the show as a regular. Um, it was going to be the punk show, you know, as we've talked about, and I mean, and Andrade was another one, you know, where it was kind of like the same thing, and I think I think. I, I, I could be wrong about this one, but my impression was that, that Punk wanted him on the show. And, you know, it makes sense because, you know, his heat was Sammy Guevara and Sammy Guevara would be on the other show. Just like all the, you know, that that, that, that was just kind of like the way things were going to be. Um, and, um, you know, but I don't, I you know, I, I, I was going to look up, but I don't, I don't remember what month Andrade was, had the surgery. So I don't know how close Andrade would be to returning. I know the last I heard was he was able to do push-ups. I don't know how close that means he was ready to return. I know with Rosa, um, you know, I mean, Rosa's back is messed up. And she may need surgery. She may not need surgery. But if she has surgery, she's going to be out for a long, long time. So, um, you know, building the thing around her. And Rosa is like another one. It's like, you know. It's it's like almost like everyone who has heat with everyone was going to be on collision, you know, because Rosa had the big heat with Jamie Hayter and Britt and, and others, too. But um, so it's a way like, OK, Rosa's there. Let's, you know, we'll we'll this is how we we um, solve our problems. All the people who there's problems with will put on collision and we'll have this show with CM Punk as the big star. So anyway, this, these names are all out other than CM Punk, obviously. You know, Samoa Joe and Miro and um, Will Hobbs. And I don't think the press release even mentioned MJF. And um, they, I think I know it mentioned FDR, or the tag team champions, because they were going, you know, they were going to be earmarked for the show. But it didn't mention um, um, did the, the press release didn't mention MJF's name, did it? The release, the release so- I didn't read the press release. I just saw the poster. OK, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think it did. But the, the, the you know, because, again, MJF was put on the poster in the punk in the position that Punk was going to be in, so that's that's to fill out the poster. The rest of the people were were like what um, you know in the positions they were going to be, but um, you know I, when I looked at the names without Punk and it's like, how is this, you know, like how is this show with this list of characters a, a, as a split roster going to work? I mean, even with Punk, it was going to be a tough sell, and Saturday is such a brutal day. You know, considering all the different things they're going to go against, including UFC almost every single week. Um, 
with Punk, they, you know, with Punk, they had a chance, you know? I mean, I, I would say they had a chance. You take Punk out of the mix, and it's like Rampage, unless they're willing to just throw out this whole brand split thing and just have the guys do what WWE does and or did, which is whether it's the Young Bucks or Omega or MJF or Chris Jericho or uh, Mox, the B, the you know BCC, Danielson, all these guys, have them work Wednesdays and Saturdays, you know, and and you know speed up the speed through the programs and have the Wednesday and Saturday, you know Wednesday build to Saturday, Saturday build to Wednesday, have them both be a shows, um, because with a split roster, if you don't have Punk. It's going to be so tough. I mean, Punk is in a, you know, I mean, he's in a great leverage position right now. He really is um, because all these plans are, you know, were, were based on him. You know, they would have had the show with or without him. But at this time, it wasn't going to be a split roster thing and it wasn't going to be, you know, all the guys with problems on the show or whatever. It was just going to be a new show. <laughs> Loading up on some liquid energy here. Uncle Howdy. Why does he do this? Why does he do this? <laughs> That's like the Uncle Howdy thing. Why does he do that? me to explain Uncle Howdy. Yes. Someone needs to put that to music, some 70s song, for the best of the Brian and Vinny show. Yeah, keep it off this show, please. Why does he do this? Why does he do this? That's like the Uncle Howdy thing. We're going to get kicked off whatever run. You just disgusted Granny. That's like the Uncle Howdy thing. What a jamming song that is. Yeah, keep it off this show, please. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of the Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.